Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and this video is sponsored by Raziel Dungeon Arena. It's going to be me giving you a quick rundown and showcasing the basics of the game so that you can make an educated decision on whether you want to try it. So let's get into it. Alrighty, so first of all, I will put a download link in the video description and also a pinned comment so that it is nice and easy to find for you where you can download Razio for your device. It is available on both Android and iOS. And to give you a quick general description of Razio, it's a darker themed mobile RPG with great graphics, story, and sound effects. It was launched in September of 2020 as the first game developed by Indrasoft. Now, I absolutely love games like this, darker styled RPGs. I come from the Diablo community, was a leader of a clan there for about five or six years. So this is right up my alley. I wanted to make sure and show you guys because I think games like this, darker themed mobile RPGs are a lot of fun to dive in and try out. So first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and show you quickly what the game looks like in action. And then after that, I will show you some of the basics like the gearing, the skills and the talent tree. So we're going to head up to the top left, and I will kind of show you a, a quest happening live here. So we're going to go up here, the Templars, and we'll head into the, uh, the chapter three, and we'll take down a quest here live on video so you can kind of get a feel for how the game functions and what it looks like in action. Alrighty, here we are, and I will show you what it can. So up up in the top right, you've got your mini map. You can make it bigger, uh, and it kind of helps you track where exactly you're going. You guys know the drill uh, when it comes to mini maps in games like this. You move on the bottom left right here, and then you've got all your abilities on the right. I've got mine kind of set up. I've got this ability here to summon allies to fight next to me, so I'll do that first. Then I'll cast my buffing ability that gives me attack up and life steal. Then I will use my movement ability to close the distance. And then I will start whirlwinding away and cleaving everything down. So that's kind of the general rotation of my abilities that I'll use when I'm coming into a bigger fight where I've got my cooldowns. And then up top left, you can see uh, the, the, uh, the, the health and the resource that you need to manage up there on the top left. The gold automatically picks up when you walk close to it. And then you'll have a button that appears up on the top right when you uh, get next to a destructible object like a barrel or something. And you do wanna break those and get the rewards when you see destructible objects. So let me go ahead and you'll see here, I'll close the distance, whirlwind. Who doesn't love a good whirlwind character? I figured that'd be a great place to start. So that's the route that I went. Boom, we're cleaving down with whirlwind. I like to check the corners on stuff and make sure I'm not missing any breakable objects or anything. <laughs> down, some crits in there. And just kind of keep rolling, make sure I'm exploring each kind of corner. Sometimes you'll find chests with loot in them. So you want to make sure you're kind of paying attention Great to uh, the entire environment. Scooping up rewards where you can. And then this is kind of what the gameplay would look like on your way to uh, kind of through a map to complete a quest. Keep kind of progressing here and there you can see on the mini map I have got the uh, the big ping there of a, of a fight coming up so right here I would try to be saving up my cooldowns lining things up and if I click on the mini map you can see that it is pinging right there the uh, the red dot I know a fight is gonna be coming so I'm gonna I've got everything lined up ready to go boom cast my allies my booster close the distance start whirlwinding and there it is Line everything up and burst it down super quick. There is quest complete. And then after this, you'll usually get a portal that pops up and you can click return to the city. And there you go. That's kind of how a quest would look like in action for, for kind of an intro to what the game looks like. So now as we dive into some of the other stuff like the gear and the skills and the talent tree. Um, I do want to point out that this menu on the top left expands. It took me a while to figure that out, so I didn't even know that that expands. Uh, so up on the top left, this little banner, you can click that and it does expand down to give you more options so you can go to stuff. So now you'll see when I go to deploy, there's multiple heroes that you can play as. You'll see that I've only got Rock right here. That's who I chose, kind of the, the brawler, hack and slash character. That's who I went with when I made my decision as my starting champion. But I wanted to show you this. As you play, you can acquire more champions. So I'll show you here. If I go into the items right here on the top left, and if I click on Fine, as you play and, and level up and kind of develop through the game, you can get these hero choice packs. You pop those open, use that, and now I can go ahead and pick a hero that I want to summon 
to uh, to add to my roster to be able to play besides my rock. So we will go ahead and claim Alina here. And boom. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and use the other one here. And go ahead and claim. And boom. We just added two more heroes to our roster. Now you will see when I go into the, uh, the deploy... I've got two new champions that I can go ahead and play with and level up. And while we're on the subject of heroes, they have actually just released a new hero that you can see right here, Perosa the Fire Elf. And they're always adding stuff to the game besides just Perosa. Uh, most recently, they added a mercenary system where you can hire allies to help you in your dungeons. And also, they added new gear, the Aeon set and Aeon Dark Gold gear. And you got to see my champion, Rock, in action, but I don't just want to show you one hero. I want to show you a couple other ones as well so you can get kind of an idea of some different play styles and what different champions look like. So the first one here is going to be the Dead Ranger, Vilsack. So this is going to be a little bit of a different style, kind of uh, more archery, keeping your distance, uh, volleys of arrows, uh, piercing shot. You'll get to see kind of what the archery style is going to look like compared to what you saw with my Rock champion. Yeah, hunting shadow, some, some movement speed uh, type stuff. And then here is Alina, the Ice Priestess. So this will be a little bit more of like a caster or, or a mage type build. Uh, that way you'll get to see uh, the melee style, some archery, and some magic here. So lots of kind of ice abilities here. Ice magical abilities. And there you go. At least now you get to see a couple different styles of play available in Raziel. So, uh, yeah, there, there's multiple different ways to play the game and multiple different characters that you can go through and develop on your quest. And they've all got very distinct styles and, and different ways to play them, different abilities and, and play in a very different way from each other. So it's fun to kind of experience different heroes in a game like this always instead of just playing the same thing over and over. So it's very cool that they have lots of different champions and different play styles to choose from. So in terms of gear, you can see on the, the left side there, we go to gear. And this is where you can you can kind of change the artifacts that your champion is currently using. And the game will tell you if there is an upgrade that it thinks you might want to go ahead and, and swap out. So you can see here that this axe here has the two green arrows up. That means that the game is strongly suggesting that I might want to go ahead and equip this. So, And then you'll see on the bottom, the 130 base CP. It is 48 higher than what I'm currently wearing. So we would go ahead and equip that. Go through up here. And this is a soul stone that we would want to equip for sure. So as we keep going, I would go ahead and equip some of these new found items here that are, are upgrades for me. This one is definitely an upgrade. We would go there for sure. And yeah, so, so it's pretty easy to understand as you get rolling uh, what, what kind of, uh, what direction to go in terms of acquiring new gear. Uh, they, they give you that little icon there to show you if something is an upgrade or not. But now I want to talk about the different skills available to you uh, when, you're, when you're kind of deciding the build of your champion. So as we pop into the skills tab, you'll see there on the left side, uh, you, these are the skills that my champion is using right now. And as you click on them, you've got different ways to play that specific skill. So this is the skill, is Rage Burst. And then I've got three different choices on there to customize my build a little bit. I like summoning the uh, the ads to go along with me and help do kind of passive damage for me. And then you can upgrade them on the bottom right here. It looks like this as you upgrade them. And it's going to take the uh, the gold there. So we'll pop that one up to level 30. And then uh, this is the uh, this is the Warcry skill. And again, you've got the three different routes to go. I love Lifesteal uh, just in general as a mechanic in games. So that's the one that I chose. I'll upgrade that one to 30 to see that as well. And then I, I also love movement abilities. So uh, anything that increases movement speed or helps me close the distance on my enemy especially with a melee character that is a great skill to have in your repertoire so i went that route we'll pop that up to 30 as well and and then for the uh obviously for any melee character any whirlwind ability is going to be amazing so that is why i chose that route on the vertical slash i switched it to the whirlwind slash and we'll pop that one up to level 30 to keep pace with the other skills here bang and now I'll show you kind of the basics of the talent tree and how that functions. So back on kind of the main screen and that banner that drops down from the left side right here, you can see that it says talents right there. 
So uh, now this stuff always uh, kind of overwhelms people in games, but it's really not that bad. Uh, you do you do want to get a little bit acclimated with the abilities that you're using. Maybe take five seconds and just jot down the abilities that you're using because some of them, like you'll see here, I went for Barbaric Run because it increases movement speed when using Gravity Jump, Barbaric Armor, Savage Charge, or Ground Cracking Slash. Now remember, I am using Savage Charge. If I back out here and I go into my skills... You will see here that right here, uh, this is Savage Charge level 30. So it's good to just kind of briefly touch base with the abilities that you're using so that you can make sure you synergize them in your talent tree. But other than that, if you take 30 seconds to get acclimated with that, you'll be able to kind of go through the talent tree and read some things that are going to synergize with your bill and uh, build and have some fun kind of putting that stuff together. So that's just one example of something that I wanted to make synergize with the skill that I'm using. And I kind of went through and built some so a good blend of, of attack and movement speed and, and just kind of grabbing up the good base stat nodes when I could uh, normal attack just getting some of those big impactful masteries and the ancestral roar up here because a, a lot of this stuff is going to synergize with the abilities that I'm using and the style that I'm wanting to play on this character and then when you're done getting the talent tree set up to your liking you can go ahead and save it down on the bottom right that won't be grayed out because I haven't changed anything here but you can save it and then I named mine general right there you can see it up top up top middle by that book I named this as kind of my general setup so when you're done you just click save save it as your general and then you can back out and your talent tree is ready to synergize with the play style that you were wanting to go after but yeah that's gonna kind of do it for this one I, guys there is so much more I could go into on this game uh, th there's lots more mechanics and lots more end game type stuff but this video would be over an hour long if I sat here and tried to go over absolutely everything uh, on the game for you so I wanted this video to be more of a basics and general outlook of the game so that you can make an educated decision on whether you want to go out and try it and remember I will have download links down in both the video description and a pinned comment so that is nice and easy to find so uh, that's going to do it for me in this one. As always, thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.